Hello everyone. Welcome back to online classes of literature once again. So today here I am with one chapter 11 called The Archery Test. So this is a story, uh, one episode taken from Mahabharata. You might have heard from your parents several times, okay, uh, talking about this epic tale, okay. So this is a uh, one epic tale which talks about uh, Kauravas and the Pandavas, okay. This is very integral part of the Mahabharata tale, one of the two major epic of ancient India. So let me start now. So the characters first, which is very important and essential for you all to know the characters in any story. The true concept of characters will give you a better understanding in the story. The first character, first uh, the narrator and the character Drona, Yudhishthira, Duryodhana and Arjuna. So these are the characters uh, we'll talk in this story. Also on stage, as many children as possible, like this is one a set of a play has been conducted okay, to uh, make knowledgeable about the tale Mahabharata. They will not have speaking lines, but they can join the actions wherever possible. So this can be means acted in the class also. Okay. So it is my earnest request for all of you to keep your textbook open. So when I'm narrating this story and explaining you, okay, through the line, a large number of children are standing in the middle of the stage. So they are standing in the middle of the stage like you have seen in our school also when you are having annual program and we have a drama as well. So in that drama how the children are performed you might have seen. So here also the children are performing. Five of them stand a little apart from the group. So five of these characters are little apart from the group means the characters which I just told no. The, Drona, Yudhishthira, Duryodhana, Arjuna and the narrator. They are just apart from the children. All of them have bows and arrows but only Arjuna is practicing. So means in Mahabharata you might have seen no, a uh, lot of uh, action used with the bows and arrows. So here even they are holding same thing bows and arrows and Arjuna has been practicing using who is very much famous for uh, his skill of archery. Narrator says, one bright sunny morning, a large group of young boys gathered by the woodland with their bows and arrows. But these were not just ordinary boys, they were all young princes. So these boys you know, were holding the bows and arrows. So these boys were not the normal boys, they were all the princes okay, who were holding the bows and arrows and it was the morning time also has been described here. It was a sunny morning. Enter Drona and their Guru. So here Drona enters with the Guru. Drona says, there are five Pandavas, brother and their cousins, the 100 Kauravas brothers. So as you know, the Pandavas has five brothers, okay, and Kauravas were 100 in numbers. Such proud princes, they all are, but what terrible rivalry there is between them. Today, I will set them a test to prove who the greatest warrior amongst them is. So here Drona decided to set a test okay, between Pandavas and the Kauravas and calls out loudly, come O Prince, come. So here he is calling all the princes here okay, for the test. Children. 
children they all shouted come running and stand with folded hands hail o guru hail so they started saying hail o guru hail means it is a welcome telling to the guru drona i have organized a test today so here he is telling that he has organized drona has organized a test can you see on the other side of the stream there is a large tree so he is showing on the other side of the stream a large tree children is looking at the distance okay far away and they started saying yes o guru yes so all the children says uh, guru drona drona is a guru dronacharya you might have heard no so that is why he say uh, everyone says guru to dronacharya now drona says today we will have a shooting competition to test your concentration so here he has decided to keep a shooting competition i want to see who among you can strike the eye of that wooden bird across the river so here he is in a test to see on that means other side of the stream there is a uh, tree no so who will be striking the eye of that bird he just wanted to test the concentration and who will hit the eye of that bird across the river so now when drona asked if you if he could see the bird properly on the other side of the stream so yudhishthira puts down his bow now okay and start looking around for the wooden bird and he says i see the wooden bird the branch and the tree i can see the leaves moving and even more birds sitting on the same tree i can see the stream the grass other trees and the sky so he said that everything whatever he saw on the other side of the stream then the narrator yudhishthira continued to name everything he could think of at last he finished and took up the bow again waiting for his master's final command to shoot so he said everything whatever he saw there okay with his eye and waited for guru's instructions for the uh to the bird to be shot and drona says put down your bow and take a seat yudhishthira you will not hit the eye of the bird so he told yudhishthira to sit down to keep means to keep the bow and he told that not to even hit the eye of the bird then yudhishthira startled guruji startled means shock okay it's because he was so anxious no to means when the guru will tell him and when he will shoot the bird so that is why he became shocked when guruji said to stop and will not hit the eye the four pandavas prince look for it while the kauravas are sniggering and nudging each other sniggering means to laugh and make a fun and nudging means to push to attract the attention so here all of them started mocking him drona gives yudhishthira a stern look stern means strict look okay in a very strict manner with a pit eye he started looking to yudhishthira yudhishthira says putting down his bow and bowing his head means he kept down the bow and again bow down his head and said to guruji i am sorry then drona says duryodhana come forward o eldest son of gandhari so duryodhana was actually the eldest son of gandhari okay so he called forward and duryodhana kneeling beside and stretching his bow string tightly again he nailed there okay and stretching his bow more tightly command guruji and i will hit the bird so he said to again duryodhana said to guruji you give me a command i will hit the bird drona says now first prince tell me what you see so again guruji is asking what do you see then duryodhana says 
continue to hold his bow ready looks at drona's answer so he is means always anxious and ready to hit the bird i see you guruji and my brothers and cousins i can see the blue sky above and the green grass at my feet there is a stream at the distance of 100 paces and on the other side a dense jungle on the branch of the neem tree i see the wooden bird it is painted red in color and it's sitting on a branch with the 10 leaves so now he gave more elaborated explanation whatever he saw okay in respect to the earlier answer what guruji had asked Drona says now very well Duryodhana i can see all that you can see go and join yudhishthira there is no need to shoot so even to uh, duryodhana also okay he told not to shoot he told yudhishthira also not to shoot now again same uh, reply given to duryodhana also Duryodhana also shocked now. Okay, because Guruji has means denied of shooting, so, and he says, "But Guruji, that is not fair. How do you know I will miss the bird? I have not missed any target you have set before me, whether they are standing wooden dummies or great beast that we have charged. So here." he is he is in a conversation with the guruji that means they have never missed the target till now okay whether it may be dummies dummies means means a model of a human being are known as dummies you might see in the uh, shopping mall and all no the dummies are worn with the beautiful clothes and kept in front so that is dummies so it means he is in a conversation that means he has never missed okay any target till now okay for today uh, we'll stop here the next class again we'll continue from the same lesson okay so for today only this much so further in the story what will happen whom guruji will uh, allow to shoot whether he will not allow to shoot anyone okay so uh, we'll come to know in the next class till then stay safe stay home wash your hands regularly wear the mask wherever you go and maintain 6 feet distance from any strangers